So, Chris, these uh, teams have had pretty similar scores against common opponents. One, uh, you know, a goal this way or that way. But it should be a pretty close matchup tonight. Yeah, I think you're right, Rob. I think we're going to see a lot of tight checking on both sides, uh, see who can get the early edge. Uh, I'd like to see Belmont maybe get the puck in deep, try to get the forecheck going and create some chances, put some pressure on that Wakefield D, and uh, obviously support back on the defense and back check. Belmont starting uh, what we call its senior line today, normally the second line uh, of uh, Daisy McLaughlin and Marchetta. So a little bit of a reshuffle. We'll see how it plays out here. Faceoff controlled by Wakefield. Shot up and controlled by Charlotte Wright. Looks to clear the zone. Wright, the freshman on defense. Wakefield has it in the zone, shoots it in wide, more of a centering pass than a shot ultimately. Wakefield controls again. Open opportunity, gloved by Bridget Gray. And we'll have a face off in the Belmont zone. So Rob, with the uh, warmer temperatures today, the ice might be a little sticky out there. I like to see some hard passes and make sure it gets through the lanes. Makes sense. Uh, we had a real cold one here on Wednesday. It was about seven degrees inside this building, and today it's in the 40s. We'll do our best to uh, keep the condensation off the glass so you can see this on camera, but it'll be a, a challenge through the game. Belmont gets in the neutral zone. That's Gretchen and Hanley. Wakefield looks to clear. They do clear. Skate it out, outlet pass. Lola Rochi is there. She'll take it around the back of the net. Up the boards to Gretchen Hanley. Pass out, clears the zone. Wakefield's offsides. They're allowing a tag up. Here comes Taylor on the four check. Can't quite get there. That was uh, Ruby Jones working for Belmont now on the forecheck. Wide pass out. This will go for an icing. If it gets there, it does, but no whistle. That sticky ice uh, probably led to the no icing there. Right in the corner. Taylor working behind the net and right to gain possession. Wakefield backhanded in front of the goal. A lot of back and forth, not much possession for either team here, Chris. A bit of a yeah, pinball a game so far. A little bit of a slow start on both teams skating-wise. Maybe it's the early start. We'll see if they pick it up. Belmont clears long, also not an icing. Molly Dacey on the forecheck can't get there. Ellie McLaughlin does, but right to a Wakefield skater. Chipped in by Rochi. Belmont needs to get this puck uh, deep. Chris and, and, and crash in the zone, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, I agree, Rob. I think last game against Wolverine, they turned the puck over a lot here in the neutral zone. Led to some transition opportunities for Wolverine. So Back and forth chance. in front of the bench. Now clear to McLaughlin. She skates in. Looks for Marchetta. She finds her. The wrist shot is blocked by a Wakefield player. Clearance is blocked by Rochi, Rochi but now skated out. Wakefield controls again. McLaughlin working on the boards. Carreri jumps in. Back to Wakefield, wristed into the corner. Up to Hanley, she gets a stick on it but can't control, now she's got it. A lot of back and forth in front of the benches here. Belmont changing and the putz, puck squirts through the door onto the Belmont bench. We'll have a face off in the neutral zone. 
Good to see some nice back checking there by Ellie McLaughlin. Hopefully uh, Ford can get back today. Lily Duffy on the faceoff for Belmont, along with uh, Sadie Taylor on the left wing, Gretchen Hanley on the right wing. This would be the line that Devin Kelleher usually centers. Nice pass to Duffy from Taylor. Back to Taylor. Backhands it in, but blocked by a Wakefield skate. Collected by Duffy. Centering pass in, shot from Hanley. Pad saved by the Wakefield goalie, Boudreau. Still kept in for Belmont by Alex Townsend. Taylor fights in the corner, Duffy's in. Back to, ta back to Townsend, she shoots off the shin pad of a Wakefield skater. Duffy collects it, goes for the centering pass instead of the shot and uh, onto a Wakefield stick. Good pressure there by that first line. Very good pressure. All right, Townsend will skate it out, looking for the outlet. Blocked off, Wright has it, up to Taylor. Now Mia Taylor has it, her sister. Roxy Kelleher working, gets the boards. Joined by Taylor and three Wakefield players. Delmont comes out with it. Taylor looked to center it. Dumped deep by Rochi, tag up from the Belmont line. Kelleher crashing in, can't quite get there. Taylor does. Collected by Ruby Jones. The Warriors clear the zone. And now back in. That's Mia Taylor. Centers it. Jones can't quite get a stick on it. Alex Townsend aggressively in and shot out and over the glass by Wakefield. We'll have a neutral zone face, uh, excuse me, no, we'll have a face off in the Wakefield zone. Good pressure momentum there for the last two shifts for the Belmont offense. Marchette on the face off for Belmont. Townsend and Wright still in, in on defense. Back to right, gets by her stick. Got a skate race, Townsend is there. Shoots it behind the net, over to McLaughlin on the boards. Tries to chip it out. Molly Daisy has it, skates it out. Poke check from Wakefield, stops the momentum. Wakefield Warriors are in red, Belmont's in white. We have 8.44 remaining here in the first period. No score, 0-0. Zero, zero. As Wakefield controls it in the zone, now it's out. Shot back in. Racine for Wakefield tried to center it, but was stopped by Belmont sticks there. Belmont's still looking to get a hold of it. Wright has it, shoots it up the boards, and out. No icing here. Belmont changes up and races to try and keep it in the attacking zone. Unable to. Rochi's got it at center ice. Breaks up the Wakefield breakout. Sadie Taylor well onto it. Dumps it in the zone. Hanley's there, gums it up. Taylor's got it at the in the slot, shoots. Pad save, sent it just right from the Wakefield goalie. Rochi shoots it in on net, Jesus pad save. Good little snapshot from Rochi there. Carreri shoots it in, wide left. Hanley tries to collect it, can't quite get there. Good effort by this line. Rochi's got it, one on two, in the slot, shoots. And a save from Boudreaux. Once again, she handled it, no uh, rebounds. It all started with a jump in by Sadie Taylor and they got the four check going, so I'd like to see that happen a little bit more here. Some good opportunities for Belmont, shots on net. Some, the Wayfield goalie did well to keep the rebounds out from in front of the net and shoot them out to the side so Belmont couldn't get any rebound goals. Mia Taylor over to Roxy Kelleher. Emma Johnson 
gummed it up on the boards there. Nice play by Back Alex end. Townsend on the boards there. Yeah, Alex Townsend kept it in the zone. Turnover. Ruby Jones has it, but Olivia Johnson was there for Wakefield. Charlotte right onto it, shoots it around the boards. Funny bounce off the skate, but it works out for Belmont. Ruby Jones skates it in. Stick save. Rochi collects it at the blue line. She'll shoot it deep. This line's uh, mid-change. One new skater on for Belmont. Ellie McLaughlin, oh, nice save, good chance goalie. in front. Good pad save from the Wakefield goalie, Boudreaux. Rochi's got it. I think that shot was from Rochi. Had a few shots from the point. That's going to work out if Belmont can keep it up. And another puck goes through the bench door. And we'll have a neutral zone faceoff. First, see that uh, and we saw it twice there. Right? We've seen it twice in the first period. I haven't seen it happen all year. Good timing, bad timing, whatever you want to call it. So center ice faceoff, Marchetta for Belmont. Dacey on the right wing. McLaughlin on the left wing. Wright and Townsend on defense for Wakefield. McNeil. Racine, Welch. Also Taylor and Johnson. Thelma trying to clear it out, they will. Ellie McLaughlin gets it out. Marchetta can't quite get it. Around behind the net. net. Clean breakout here. Perhaps. Shot save Gray with the blocker. Don't like to see a wide open shot from that, even from a steep angle. Racine has it behind the net. She carries. Dumped in, Welch has it. Now Charlotte Wright has it for Belmont. Having a little trouble getting it out of the out of the boards and into the neutral zone, Rob. Yeah, it's been a problem for Belmont all year is clearing the zone. Need to do it with a little more authority. Shot out by Wright, again kept in by Wakefield. Chipped into the corner. That's Ross Cohn for Wakefield. Ellie McLaughlin's got it for Belmont. Still not out, now out. Belmont's gonna get on this puck. Wakefield gains the zone, shoots it in behind. Ellie McLaughlin clears it. We're two on one here, right? Picked up by Lily Duffy. She finds her teammate in the middle, Gretchen Hanley. A shot saved by the Wakefield goalie. Right back to Hanley, still alive for Belmont. Ferrari has it, shoots it in, blocked. Now Duffy's on it. Nice chance for Belmont, but Hanley couldn't quite finish it off. Shot in, covered up by the Wakefield goalie. And we'll have a faceoff in the Wakefield zone. Two on one for Belmont. Lily Duffy made a nice pass, sliding it across to Gretchen Hanley, streaking in, but uh, a good save from the Wakefield goalie, and Hanley couldn't quite elevate it to find the top of the net. 317 remaining here in the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Shot from Taylor. Blocker save. Duffy has it in the corner, finds Taylor behind the net. She's looking for somebody out in front to Hanley. Well defense by Julia Welch to break that up. Wakefield breaks out. That's Rory McNeil. Rochi has it behind the bench. Out to Duffy, kept in at the blue line. Rochi has it again, looks to turn, but picked off by Wakefield. Slapper from the blue line, blocked in front. Belmont tries to clear again and no luck. 
Johnson doing a good job keeping it in for Wakefield. Now Belmont has a chance. Here comes Rochi. She's got Cross Taylor with her. Yep. Poke check stops her at the blue line. Rochi's got it again. Belmont looks to reset. Mia Taylor in deep. Shot around by Wakefield. Ruby Jones will try and keep it in. Clear it out. Nice play by Alex there. Nice Emma Johnson there. held up by Alex Townsend at mid-ice. Townsend tries to get it in the corner. She does, but kept in by Emma Johnson for Wakefield. Wakefield has it in the corner. Ruby Jones is able to clear it out. That's Mia Taylor working hard. Roxy Kelleher gets in there. Good pressure there on the four check. Taylor has it. Now Carreri shoots it into the center, but nobody's there. And cleared by Wakefield, that's gonna be icing. So with 1.15 remaining in the first period, Belmont's gonna have a face-off in the Wakefield zone. Both teams have generated a few chances. Belmont probably the better chances, but not able to find the back of the net. Yeah, Wakefield's goalies look strong. There's been a couple rebounds though, so for the Belmont can pounce on that, they might be able to put one in the back of the net. Duffy on the face-off. Controlled by Wakefield. Hanley pressures Taylor working hard to get there. She does. Sadie Taylor, good work coming across the ice. Duffy in to help out. It's behind the net. Just under a minute remaining. Rochi steps in at the blue line. Can't quite shoot it out. We got a penalty behind the play here, Rob. I'm not sure on who. Looks like a cross check to Wakefield. So Belmont's going to go on the power play. Play looks like uh, Olivia Johnson going in the box for Wakefield. We'll wait for the rink announcement to see what the penalty is. But Belmont, Belmont will have a one skater advantage. Duffy, Sadie Taylor, Gretchen Hanley on for Belmont. Over to Hanley, she shoots, blocked, and up into the netting. We'll redo the faceoff. 46.6 seconds remaining here in the first. Belmont now on the power play. For the remainder of the period and into the second period. Shot from the point blocked. Belmont controls, looking to set it up. The Wakefield penalty was for a cross check. Hanley shoots it across. Nobody's home for Belmont. Duffy gums it up. Taylor's now into the corner. She's got it. 20 seconds left. Belmont needs to get control. Good centering pass in front. Duffy shoots. It's blocked by a Wakefield stick. Now they're out. Townsend has it at the point. Just 10 seconds remaining. Pass to Charlotte Wright. She looks to shoot. She does. Pad save. Pushed off to the right. Duffy has it in the corner. Just a second left. And the buzzer sounds. Belmont only able to get one shot off in that final 46 seconds of the power play. But they'll have uh, a one skater advantage for a minute 10 at the start of the second period. Kaylee Porter on the faceoff for Wakefield with Charlotte Rossicone on the right wing and left wing, excuse me, Emma Johnson on the right wing. Abigail, Boudreaux, and goal. Belmont controls in. Duffy has it. Shoots it into the goalie. She covers it up. Like Duffy was looking for the old uh, rebound off the pad save shot there, but she couldn't quite get enough on the shot. Yeah. Boudreaux, the goalie, covered up pretty up quickly, so uh, hopefully they'll try to get another couple shots here and get a rebound to goal. Wakefield controls the faceoff. Out to the corner. Clear long. Alex Townsend goes to collect, collect it. Out to Taylor, to Hanley. Loses the puck. Now Lowell Roach is onto it. Pass up to Duffy. She'll take a shot off the right leg of the Wakefield defender. Back to Townsend. To Taylor. To Duffy. 
She wheels around, looking for a shot. Shot, shoots into a Wakefield defender again. We've only got 20 seconds remaining on this power play. Hanley picks it up. She's one on three, gains the zone. She'll shoot. Nice shot. Save by the Wakefield goalie. Boudreaux, Roxy Kelleher working in the corner. Three, two, one, the power play is over. Wakefield adds another skater. Belmont trying to keep it in the zone. Mia Taylor can't quite come up with it. Chipped in deep by Olivia Johnson for Wakefield. Wakefield still looking to gain the puck. They do. Belmont up a couple girls on the board, but can't get the puck back. Now out to Ruby Jones. Pass to Roxy Kelleher, shoots it in. Not quite deep enough. Kept in by Lola Rochi, good step up there. Squirts out off a deflection to Rochi. She finds Duffy on the left wing. Now Taylor. Nice keep Carreri keep keeps it in. Duffy's got it. Snapshot. Wide right. Good opportunity there for Belmont. Taylor has it. Dangerous puck in front, but Belmont can't get a stick on it. Skated out by Wakefield. Good hustle by Taylor. And now Rochi collects it. Up to Hanley, and out. Duffy had a step, but couldn't Good quite accelerate enough. Shift here, Rob. Dangerous change, three on one. Shot, score in the upper left corner from Emma Johnson for Wakefield. It looks like Belmont got crossed up on the line change there and ended up with uh, a three on one, unexpectedly. Yeah, right. A nice uh, shot over the right shoulder of Bridget tough Gray. Teams, uh, three on one and a good shot. Hit the corner by the Wakefield forward. I'm not sure Belmont made the adjustment to having a different bench as location as they switched ends in the period, Chris. Uh, Wakefield. Yeah, they the long bench on uh, the opposite side here. They're going to make sure they need to adjust appropriately. Those defensive changes take longer when your bench is farther away, and they got caught short at least one skater there, if not two. Let's see if Belmont can rebound here and answer that goal from Wakefield here. So I, apparently the goal was, uh, yes it was, Emma Johnson, number 18 from Kaylee Porter. 11.25 remaining in the second period. Belmont skating in white sweaters. Trails 1-0 to Wakefield skating in red sweaters. Battle between Townsend and McNeil in the corner. Ruby Jones looks to skate it out, can't quite. Mia Taylor in. Now Charlotte Wright, finally out. McNeil dumps it in, and Wakefield will change up. Roxy Kelleher clears the zone. No icing here. Ruby Jones looks to track it down along with Mia Taylor. They can't get there, and Wakefield's out with speed. Sadie Taylor tracking it now. Fight for it in the corner. Belmont controls back to Wakefield. Shot from the point. Saved by Gray off the top of her stick. 
I don't think not Bridget saw that one. Not sure if that was too high. She was completely screened, and uh, Wakefield got one off from deep. Another good chance for Wakefield. Belmont's back on their heels right to start here. Yeah, I think that goal gave some momentum to Wakefield, and they're capitalizing on it. Sure did. Pass out in front, controlled by Sadie Taylor. She skates it into the zone. Line changes on. She's got some help coming now. Hanley in, trying to get it behind the net. The clear doesn't work. Stopped at the blue line by Townsend. Shoots it back in, but onto a Wakefield stick. And now out. Townsend's got it. It's going to be an offside there, Rob. I guess they allowed for the tag with the, the change going on, but Townsend ran into a blockade there. The puck here. Looks like to be there watching the puck a little bit right now, Rob. Yeah. Duffy has it in the corner. Backhanded in behind the net again. Wright has it. Up the boards to Hanley, shoots it out in front, looking for Ellie McLaughlin, who came on. Shot in, gloved by Gray. Yeah, Rob, I think Belmont really could put a little bit more pressure on the puck, put some pressure on Wakefield. Right now, they've got a little more space and time than uh, I think Belmont wants to. Porter on the faceoff for Wakefield. Molly Dace has it on the side. Wristed in behind the net. Ro Rochi collects it. Now out to Ellie McLaughlin. Looking for Dacey. Dacey's still on it. She dumps it in on a Wakefield stick. Rochi's got it. Shoots it in. Can't get it through. Chris, Wakefield's either good at blocking shots or Belmont just keeps shooting it into Wakefield, skates yeah, and legs. Yeah, we haven't got many shots through from the point there. Uh, good point by you, Rob. Or clean dumps in. Great pad save by Bridget Gray there as the Wakefield player went for the low corner shot, and it was pretty screened. Now Gray gloves it. We'll have another faceoff in the Belmont end. A lot of those to start the second period here. Belmont started on a power play, had some chances to score, couldn't score, and then Wakefield uh, came out a couple minutes later on the bad line change and netted one for a 1-0 lead. Got a clean breakout here, Rob. Let's see what they can do with it. Yeah, Jones had it, but uh, again, poke check, good poke check by the Wakefield defender. Stopped the momentum. Looking for Taylor, not quite. Charlotte Wright has it to Ruby Jones. It's cleared out. And now back in for Wakefield. Centering pass through a little bit hot. Teammate couldn't get there. Dumped in Racine working in the corner. Again, Charlotte Wright, now Ruby Jones. Wakefield comes up with it as Welch jumps in. And now it's out. Belmont needs a line change. Roxy Kelleher chasing it down. Jams it up. Mia Taylor shoots. Save, no rebound by Boudreau. And we'll have a faceoff in the Wakefield end with 6.36 remaining here in the second. One well, of the first offensive zone faceoffs we've had, Rob, here. So let's see if they can possess the puck and get some pressure. Belmont has it in the corner. Centering pass blocked, but Hanley's there. Now Rochi has it, backhands it in, off a of skate out again. <laughs> Good play by Rochi, but... 
Wakefield's got good body position on defense. Out to Hanley. A break. Potential two on one. Duffy waits for her now in, into the zone. Hanley wrists it in. Glove by Bedreau. And we'll have a faceoff in the Wakefield end again. The Duffy, Hanley, Sadie Taylor line is generating a lot of chances, but no goals as yet. Carreri and Rochi on for Belmont on defense. Duffy wins the draw. Rochi goes to shoot it in. It's in the corner. Sadie Taylor working against two Wakefield players. Now Hanley into the other corner. Duffy gets in on the action. As Ellie McLaughlin skates onto the ice, she'll wait in front, but Wakefield comes out with it. They dump it in. It's going to be icing, though. Ten feet behind the red line, she shot that in, and we'll go back down to the Wakefield end as Belmont gets the full change on. Looks like Belmont has their senior line on. Let's see if they can generate some opportunities here. So Marchetta on the draw, McLaughlin on the left wing, Daisy on the right wing. Charlotte Wright, the freshman, Alex Townsend, the sophomore on defense. Marchetta wins the draw and shoots it at the goal he covered up. Not much on that, looking for a rebound, but Boudreau did a, a good job to not give up a rebound. So we're going to repeat again here. Face off, one by Marchetta, shot in from Dacey, wide left. Now to Marchetta, looking for Dacey, but deflected. Townsend shoots it deep. Dacey looks to chase it down. She does, but needs some help there. Looks like Dacey got a stick to the neck, maybe. She's coming off. She's in a little bit of pain here. Yeah, she looked like she was looking for a cross-check call, but it, it wasn't forthcoming. Good play by Rochi along the boards. That's going to go for icing. And so with 4.54 remaining in the second in Belmont training, trailing 1-0, we'll have a face-off in the Belmont end. It'll be Mia Taylor on the draw for Belmont. Julia Welch for Wakefield. Taylor wins it. Rochi around, looking for Jones. Passes it across, but not on enough of an angle. It stays in the zone. Rochi's got it. She looks to break through. One on two. Centering pass in. Good play by DeFeo for Wakefield to break it up there. I think it was DeFeo. Taylor's got it, shoots it in. Backhand from Jones, couldn't get much on it. Belmont working hard to keep it in. Good work by Ruby Jones on this four check, Rob. Centering pass from Kelleher. Belmont couldn't get a shot, kept in by Wright, kept in still by Jones. She goes down and cleared long. That's going to be icing. And we'll go right back down to the Wakefield zone. It's a good pressure from that line, Rob. So let's see if we can sustain that. And uh, really just going to get a little bit more pressure on the puck and some traffic in front of the net. It was a good series for Belmont. 349 remaining in the second. Lily Duffy on the draw for Belmont. At some point, the draw. There it is. If there's a bad drop from the ref, uh, Duffy wasn't ready. Yeah, he was really a stickler for lining him up there properly. He's going to require them to swap out, even though it might have been his fault. So Taylor on the draw. Wakefield controls. Hanley cuts it off. Now Duffy looking to. She does. 
keeps it in. Taylor aggressively into the corner. Now Duffy, puck squirts up, it's out. Wright gets the stick on it. Taylor still working in the corner. Great centering pass, a little bit hot. Hanley, now Townsend, pokes it back in deep. Duffy's trying to get there. This line's been on the ice for a while. Cleared out to Hanley. Good interception. She shoots. And save. Back to Rochi. She wheels, shoots it in. Again off of Wakefield shot. skate. Wakefield skates it out and in. Deflected. Gray makes sure it scoots by the right side of the goal. Now it's whipped out. No icing. Mia Taylor trying to run it down. She does, she cuts it off. She's got the puck. She tries to jam it in. Tied up by the Wakefield goalie. She had the post covered. Another Belmont face off. Another chance. Yeah, Belmont's picked it up in the second half of this period, Rob. Just haven't been able to capitalize yet. No clean shots. Uh, that's really the problem. Two and a half minutes remaining here in the second. Carreri tries to cut it off, but can't. Got a race between Rochi and Racine. Rochi wins it, shoots the puck out along the boards. Cut off by Wakefield, but Rochi has it again. Puck slipped. McNeil working behind the net for Wakefield. Pass out, find somebody. Good block from Rochi. Wakefield still controls. Mia Taylor working. It gets centered across. Nice play by Rochi to flick it out there. Under two minutes remaining in this period. Belmont needs to regroup and try and get an offensive chance. Looks for Jones, doesn't get there. Centering pass. Racine in the corner. Carreri fights for it. Now Mia Taylor. Wakefield still keeps it in. Welch has it behind the goal, centers it out. Wide open opportunity for Wakefield there. Point blank shot, I believe, from McNeil. Yeah, Belmont had a couple opportunities to get the puck out there, Rob. Couldn't do it, and that usually happens. Uh, ends up in the back of the net when you can't do that. So Wakefield takes a 2-0 lead with 1.25 remaining here in the second period. Too much time in their own end for Belmont, not enough clearance. It's been a problem, uh, was a problem earlier in this game and has been a problem this season. Wright wins it on the boards to Hanley. Now to Taylor. Back to Hanley. Wakefield skater gets through. Shut down by Townsend and Wright. So that was McNeil on the goal, number nine, for the assist to Julia Welch. Shot in by Duffy. She changes out, tied up in the corner. Now Wakefield's got it. Rossicone gets the corner, looks to center it. She does, blocked by Gray. Not out. Now shot out by Marchetta. Battle at the red line. We've only got six seconds left. The whistle blows. Not sure what the whistle was for. Looks like a penalty on Wakefield. That's number 14, Julia Welch. Had it into the box. Yeah, not sure what the call was for that, Rob, but... Again, it's gonna be just five seconds here at the end of the period, and they'll start the period if they don't score here with the man advantage. Yep, so a six second advantage for Belmont on the Wakefield penalty. They'll try and put something together here, but if not, 
they'll have that skater advantage in the, at the start of the third period as the buzzer sounds. It'll be a 155 advantage for Belmont starting the third period, but they gave up two goals here in the second period. Chris Rochi and have fallen behind in a game that's that's really been pretty even. It was 0-0 after one period. Wakefield put two on the board in the second period. Belmont did have some chances on that power play at the beginning of the period, but couldn't net it. They need to do it here as the skaters take the ice. Bridget Gray in goal for Belmont, Lowell Rochi and Charlotte Wright on defense. It looks like Alex Townsend centering, moving up from defense to center. Lily Duffy on the right wing and Sadie Taylor on the left wing. Yeah, mixing up here to try to maybe generate some offense here. For Wakefield, Boudreaux in goal. Rossicone, Johnson, Porter. And Johnson, Belmont looks to control, but Wakefield does, sends it long, a minute 30 remaining on the Belmont power play. Good job by Kaylee Porter. Yeah, Rochi lost the puck there in the corner. Some Taylor's helping out. Seconds for Wakefield. Belmont still can't get it. Very good effort from Porter. All right, now Taylor has it. Now she doesn't. It's a little sticky down there in the corner with the uh, new surface, a little bit wet. Yeah, warm day in the rink and the Zamboni probably left a few puddles. Rochi. Out to Townsend, she skates it in, takes a shot. Blocker save by Boudreau. Around the board, Duffy gets there. Cuts it off. Back to the point, shot blocked again. That shot from right, Belmont's had a problem just throwing it into skaters, Wakefield skaters all, all afternoon. Good move there. Gray saves it with a glove. Belmont somehow allows a shorthanded breakout there from Emma Johnson. Only 15 seconds remaining on this power play. Belmont hasn't had many chances, just one shot, really. Big save there by Bridget. Keep this a two goal game. All right, it's out of the zone, but Wakefield controls off the boards. Ferrari pokes it out. We're back to even strength here with 13 minutes remaining in the third. Belmont trailing 2-0. Belmont player down, whistles. Blows. I don't know if it's just an injury stoppage or a penalty. I think just an injury a, stoppage. I don't see a penalty. Cece took a hard fall there in the corner, but she looks like she's back up and ready to go. Off in the Belmont zone, controlled by Belmont, skated out by Taylor. She's got Hanley with her. She wings it and into the top right corner over Boudreaux's shoulder. A nice breakup by Sadie Taylor. She puts it home, and Belmont gets back within one. They now trail Wakefield 2 1 with 12.37 remaining in the third period. Nice a nice carry and shot there. Yep, absolutely. And hopefully, uh, you know, this could give them some momentum here. Sometimes it just takes one rod to get the offensive going. 
skated out by Taylor again into the zone. She sends it in deep. It deflects towards the goalie who makes a nice pad save on an unexpected deflection. Taylor still working hard. Now Duffy. So rink announcer Al, Al Guedo tells us that the goal was from Sadie Taylor and assisted by Lily Duffy. Shot out. Taylor shuts it down, controlled by Charlotte Wright. She skates it out. Up to Marchetta. She looks to shoot, she does, blocked. Now skated out by Emma Johnson. Into the corner, met by Rochi. Rochi gets the best of it, shoots it around the boards, but right onto a Wakefield stick. Shot, save, Gray. Centering pass in front, out to a Belmont skater. Nice move by Ruby Jones, she gains the line. Looks to send it in, cut off, now in. That's uh, Jalen Marchetta centered in front. Caputo working against the boards against a couple Wakefield players. Around the boards and out of the zone. Sent back in by Wright, tripped up. All right, Marchetta has it, and it's out, and that's offside. Finally whistled. Well, the faceoff outside the Belmont zone on the Wakefield offside. 10.38 remaining in the third. Mia Taylor on the faceoff for Belmont. Sent out by Alex Townsend. Taylor onto it. Mr. Taylor her has it. She shoots over the goalie's head. Somehow missed. It looked like it was headed for the I top of the goal. In, Rob. I thought it was in. Off the glove. We're getting word from Jay Gooden that hit the crossbar. All right, so off the crossbar. Good chance from Roxy Kelleher there. Wakefield looks to clear. Molly Dacey, now Roxy Kelleher. Wright collects it, sends it off the boards and in onto a Wakefield stick. Good back check there by Mia Taylor. Belmont's got five skaters back. They need to put something together now. Looking for Dacey. She works hard to keep it in the neutral zone. Carried in by Welch. Met by three Belmont players. Good move out there by Taylor. She sends it in. Duffy will look to track it down. Now Hanley has it. Out to Taylor, back to Duffy. Taylor again, looking for Hanley in front. No lane there. She goes back to Carreri, keeps nice it speed. in. Duffy's got it in the corner. Back to Carreri again, keeps it in. Now Taylor tries to get it off the backhand, but Loses the handle. Wakefield breaks out. A nice move picked off by Rochi. She stayed home and prevented a breakaway. Kept in. Hanley looks to send it deep. She does. And now Marchetta on the four check. Wakefield escapes though. They've got a two on three. They send it in deep. They're on a partial change. And Belmont will look to control here. The pass to the center finds nobody. Belmont working hard. Charlotte Wright has it. 
Up they want to Jones. get this deep here if they can, just not able to right now. Yeah, just a lot of back and forth. No icing as Wakefield sends it long. Wright tried to play the puck. All right, back in front, Ruby Jones has it. Duffy is with her, waiting. Jones bounces it off. Rochi has it, she shoots it in on goal. Covered up by Boudreau. There'll be a face-off in the Wakefield end. Duffy on the face-off. Joined by Sadie Taylor and Gretchen Hanley, Cece Carreri, and Lola Rochi on D. Taylor looking to shoot, but lost the handle. Duffy's got it going for the wraparound. Drops it to Carreri. She shoots another block by Wakefield. They've been very good with the blocks tonight. Challenged by Rochi, but the puck goes in on net. Gray deflects it away. Back out of the zone. That's offside. I'm not sure why the referee didn't call it. Taylor, now her sister Mia Taylor has it. Rochi grabs it in the corner. Belmont looking for a queen breakout. Up to Hanley. Sent back in by Wakefield. We're approaching six minutes remaining. Block of the shot there in the game. Belmont trailing two to one. They need to get it into the Wakefield zone and generate some chances. The pup pox pops out right to the center. Shot in, deflected wide of the goal. Rochi to Daisy. Daisy gets it out. Belmont's uh, pursuit is slowed down a bit here. Shot, save Gray. Rebound prevented by Townsend. Played out from Caputo to Jones. Still in, now out. Townsend has it, Townsend takes it. She looks to shoot, she does, blocked. Unbelievable the amount of block shots that Wakefield has, Rob. That was Olivia Johnson for Wakefield. 4.50 remaining here in the third period. Belmont could use a little shot of energy. Set in, rebound. rebound, in front. Townsend shoots. Oh, good chance there. Nice save by the goalie on a blind shot from Townsend. Sent in again. Still, puck still bouncing around. Now Wakefield clears, that's gonna be icing. Both teams will get a change. That Belmont line was a little tired. They had some good chances in front. A nice shot in from Alex Townsend. Juicy rebounds, good save, but a juicy rebound, and Belmont couldn't stick it back in the net. Yeah, I think that's going to be the recipe, Rob. Get some pucks to the net and a rebound. That one got through from Alex from the point. Duffy against Welch on the faceoff. Into the corner. Sadie Taylor working hard. Duffy has it. Backhands to Taylor. Taylor shoots wide right. Townsend slows it down. Now Rochi takes over. Belmont clears the zone to Taylor. Taylor makes a nifty little move. She's got a one-on-one. -on -one. She's in. Nice save by Boudreau. But Duffy's there for the rebound. Puts it home. And Belmont has tied the game 2-2. Two -two. A one-on-one -on -one breakout from Taylor, who took the puck at the blue line, made a nifty move around. A nice shot. Great save by Boudreau. 
There was no way she was going to corral that rebound there, and Duffy crashed hard and drove it into the back of the net. Chris. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Drive hard to the net. The rebound was sitting there. Goldie couldn't quite corral it, and Duffy gets the goal. Tie this game up. So 3.45 remaining here in the final period, and Belmont is now tied at 2-2. Two to two. Rochi controls out. Ellie McLaughlin on the left wing for Belmont. Molly Dacey, nice play there. Now Sadie Taylor. Belmont couldn't keep it in. So Rick announcer Al Gladwell tells us that the goal was Lily Duffy unassisted. Three minutes remaining here in a 2-2 game. Daisy working with Sadie Taylor. Now out. Townsend has it. Sends it to Sadie Taylor. Right. Dumps it in, but onto a Wakefield stick. Traffic jam. Duffy's on now. Over to Taylor. She'll skate into the zone. She'll take a shot. Why not? Wide left. She scored on that shot previously. Around the back of the goal. Nice Duffy there, gets Mary there. Lily now Duffy. Taylor looks for the centering pass across. Hanley couldn't get a stick on it. It's out of the zone in control by Racine. She gains the zone. Belmont's back, but can't get the puck. Now it's out on the play by Sadie Taylor. Shot out again onto a Wakefield stick. Rossicone brings it in, wings it around. Belmont needs a change here. And on the icing call, they'll get it. But they'll also get a face-off in their zone with a minute 34 remaining in this contest. Yeah, they're going to really need a clean break out here. They don't want to keep any time in their zone with a minute 34 left in this high game, Rob. So Belmont has the momentum, but not much time left. Face-off in their zone, controlled by Belmont. Right wings it around to Dacey. We've got a three-on-two breakout. She passes it through into the zone. McLaughlin controls behind the net. Looks to tap it back, center it, but she does now. But onto a Wakefield stick. Lowell Roshi's got it. Keeps it in. Wings one. Blocked. Kept in by Mia Taylor. Molly Dacey trying to get there. This will be an icing unless it's on net. It's not, so icing with 57 seconds left. We'll have a face-off in the Wakefield zone. And this may be Belmont's last chance to try and win this one, Chris Rochi. Yeah, Rob, we think uh, 57 seconds left, plenty of time here. Try to set something up offensively, get a couple pucks to the net, see if we can get a crash and a rebound goal. Duffy Taylor and Hanley for Belmont. Duffy on the draw. Controlled by Wakefield, but Duffy gets a stick in. Now Taylor, it's behind the net. Hanley gets there, looking for somebody. Lost the handle. Taylor's got it. Belmont needs some bodies in front. Tough hit there. Duffy goes down. Wakefield controls with 35 seconds remaining. Belmont steps up. It's still in. Now out. Skated in by Taylor. She'll look to shoot. She does. Blocked by two Wakefield defenders. 25 seconds remaining. 2-2 tie here. Wakefield has it. Townsend steps in. Good job to keep it in. Somebody needs to shoot. They do. It's Hanley. Now Taylor. Just 10 seconds left. Comes out to Rochi. She gets a stick on it. Shoots wide left. Five seconds remaining. Wakefield will try and burn it here. And the final buzzer sounds. 
This one will end in a tie. Belmont two, Wakefield two. Overtime. It will not end in a tie, <laughs> my apologies. It'll be overtime. So this is our first one, Rob, that we're going to see for the season for Belmont with an overtime, and it's a five-minute four-on-four, I believe. Thank so you, Chris Mo Rochi. My mistake. It is four-on-four. Four. I have uh, different hockey league rules in my head than, than uh, high school rules. So we're going to take about a minute break here as the teams meet with their coaches at the bench, and then we'll have four on four for five minutes. Is that right, Chris Rochi? I believe that is correct. All right, so, so we'll both. see some interesting strategy. Four on four is a different game. You really want to keep possession and uh, really try to get it uh, where you have an opportunity to get a goal quickly here, and uh, we don't want to end a tie. We'd like to take the victory home today. So both teams with a chance to win a very even first period, ending 0-0. All the momentum with Wakefield in the second period as they scored two goals. And now the momentum in the third period to Belmont. They scored two goals. It's 2-2 two to two here as the teams will switch ends. Good work from both goaltenders, particularly in the third period. Boudreaux's been under pressure for Wakefield. Made some good saves. Belmont will skate. Sadie Taylor, Lola Rochi, Lily Duffy, and Alex Townsend in their four on four. For Wakefield, it's Johnson. Here we go, Rob. Pucks in play, along with Rossicone, Porter, and McNeil. Puck sent long, Townsend cut off behind the boards. Lola Rochi pokes it away from trouble. Townsend looks to collect. Four and a half remaining. Sent out long, controlled by Wakefield. They send it back into the zone. Rochi's got it, sends it around the boards. Now Duffy, she's got a breakout, she's got the puck, she's got a breakaway here, one on one, shoots it in, stick save, rebound, rebound still in, Rochi in. She nets it in the left corner of the goal and Belmont wins 3-2 in overtime on a rush by Lily Duffy. Shot, nice save. Belmont got the rebound in, another nice save. The puck popped out wide on the right. Lola Rochi scooted up and drilled it into the left corner of the net, right next to the post. And an exciting win for Belmont as they beat Wakefield three to two. Wow, what an ending there, Rob. Just a minute in to the overtime, Belmont's first overtime game this season. That puck was sitting there, felt like about 10 minutes, but uh, they were able to scoop it in the net and uh, take home the victory today. Great, so, great game by both teams. 